we, we started off with our project names we were the political squirrels and we gave ourselves this name because we like to adapt to different situations and habitats and we class ourselves as curious and intelligent. So our I don't know how this work or just the computer. So our, our theme, if you like, was utopia, and for us it meant that ideal situation, a place for dreams and imagination. Um, so we kind of thought, how can we design a service around dreams and imagination? It was about cap capturing like aspirations in people. Um, <coughs> Your emotions work for us, Yes. So we thought, well, what about if we went out on the streets and asked people if they had one wish? Um, maybe we can capture some sort of dreams in uh, people's imaginations by doing this. So we prototyped a wizard and we took the wizard out um, on the street and asked people if you had one wish, what would it be? To try and get them thinking creatively or out of the box. But we found that this wasn't really an appropriate question. Because when you put people on the spot like that, and we tried it out amongst ourselves, people were a bit like, oh, I don't know. And they were just tending to say things like the lottery, wish I won the lottery. Or um, they were being quite realistic, even though winning the lottery is not. But we were kind of looking for something a bit more out there, if you like. Um, When we went out, we realised it wasn't that, it was the wrong question that we were asking, um, but that didn't matter because um, we realised um, having a, just having a wizard come round asking questions really brightened up the day, so we decided um, <coughs> we'd go uh, along with something So um, we decided um, <coughs> to make a website. Well, yeah, we decided to make a website called and a service called Make My Day, um, which is a a, a site that um, is used to make uh, people's wishes come true, um, whether it be uh, bungee jumping or other sorts of activities that they might want to take part in, we kind of put them in the right direction to um, uh, various agencies and stuff like that. So, um, <coughs> so we like the way of being entertaining and, and making people laugh. So, um, that actually brought people into ice, breaking the ice and feeling more uh, friendly towards us and sharing their wish. And their wishes were more realistic than uh, the ones we had. Um, so we thought, okay, so what can we do to make those wishes true? <coughs> so for that reason, we have created three personas that are. Uh, that they sort of capture wishes from a small perspective, like Wendy over here, which she just want to go bungee jumping, and she just stands and have the guts to do, to do it. Or like Steve over here that wants to write a book so everyone can read it, but he doesn't have the, the necessary resources or network, network to achieve that. Or even Peter, that um, he wants to um, volunteer to South America, but he has no idea how to do it. All the resources are available and not very, very um, fulfilling for him. So <coughs> we provide him with, uh, we provide uh, through that uh, self-fulfillment platform that we call our website. 
Um, we help people to create relationships with them. And, um, and like people that have the same dream, they can collaborate with them and um, have shared their experience with some people that already <coughs> have done this or people that want to be as well. So it comes, so they become interactive with them. When we will now explain how one of our personas how it works. Um, I've got one observation and one question. The observation is, you mentioned South America quite a lot, and, and literally 20 seconds ago, ago the Bogota service jam favorited political squirrels. I don't know if there's a connection there. Spooky, just as you were mentioning South America, this turned up. My question is, is it for uh, a specific type of person, a specific user group? Um, Basically, it's um, for people that don't um, um, don't have the facilities to make their wishes come true. It's basically students or or people that are very um, busy with their work and they want to escape from that and they want to experience something very different. So we believe that through those experiences, they can help them grow and have a better. <coughs> Yeah, thank you. Yes. Does the service come so once they've got to a place and they've done the thing, is that the end of the service or is that any way that it's a sorry. Yeah. No, it's a so it's a continuous interaction. Um, so as we said, like uh, we, Wendy, if she wants to be a budget dummy, she gets the advice from those that have already done it and from um, so yeah, when she she's she will do it, then she can be those, one of those people that are five others how many times. Yes? Uh, I was just thinking, is it more to be shared with your friends? So is it you know, your friends who join in and support you, or is it uh, kind of random on the people who happen to be in your area? <coughs> um, it mainly works between friends, but because it's open for everyone, so everyone can contribute and it's part of it, yeah. I was just going to say that I really liked what you said at the beginning about you went out and you spoke to people but you asked the wrong question, but it didn't matter because you realised that people engaged with the, the wizard type <coughs> fact. So I was wondering if you might think about using a character like the wizard as a sort of a face of the website to entice people in in the first place, because you learned that that worked really well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, if you think about what we done yesterday, and for those of you who weren't here, it was a completely different project because we were actually going to be doing personalised flash mobs. <laughs> and, um, but we wanted to involve the client in the process, so if someone's a bit serious and dumb and sitting at their office desk and their client's like, oh, we need to, um, sorry, their colleague's like, oh, we need some fun in his life, they get in touch with us and then we personalise a flash mob around them. 
But when we speak up this interaction with the client about what he wants to do for his colleague, they dress up in co costumes and we say, right, do you want this character? And we had a character. So it was all quite fun yesterday. We made costumes and it was really sort of hands on, but it's, the service has changed quite a lot today, so we've not actually completely refined it, to be fair. Um, That's why you have seen us if you don't. <laughs> We've got two team members down as well. Yeah. I think that's a really good point that um, you know having the, the wizard is the false thing yeah. because it's quite I love the idea of being quite magical. Yeah. You know, you know, you want something out of the ordinary. It's almost like your ideal service user is a dreamer or maybe stifle dreamer, someone in an office who just feels, you know, bored by their everyday life. Mm -hmm. And that might kind of spark their imagination. I was wondering, because I think you all have um, design backgrounds. How was it, you talked through the process, but how was it working on something so, um, I guess, out of the ordinary and almost esoteric and, you know, philosophical, you know, the nature of utopia, and that's all you've got as a starting point? Because usually you have quite a specific brief with stakeholders. How did you work through that? I, we've actually really enjoyed it. Not standing here like this. We have had some fun, and it's been good not working on a topic that wasn't, as serious, maybe, types of community or, you know, we kind of just wanted to step out of that and do something a bit different. 